Scarlett Johansson was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2021. Her films have grossed over $14.3 billion worldwide, making her the ninth highest grossing box office star of all time. Her maternal great-grandfather died during the Holocaust in the Warsaw Ghetto on a 2017 episode of PBS's Finding Your Roots. She has an older sister, Vanessa, also an actress, and an older brother, Adrian, and a twin brother, Hunter. Scarlett Johansson was nominated for the Chicago Film Critics Association Award for Most Promising Actress. She was credited with sensitivity and talent that belie her age by an Austin Chronicle critic. The film premiered at the 2001 Seattle International Film Festival. The film grossed $119 million at the box office and received critical acclaim. She played a young 17th century servant in the household of the Dutch painter. In her fourth release in 2004, she voiced Princess Mindy, the daughter of King Neptune. The film was her most commercially successful release that year. She would reprise her role as Mindy in the video game adaptation of the film. The film received mixed reviews and grossed $163 million. The film was a critical and box office success. Recommended by the Los Angeles Times as an adult provocative piece of work, a reviewer in the film described Johansson as open and malleable. Compared to the other actors, melts into her character so thoroughly that her nimbus of celebrity disappears, she says. She won the 2010 Tony Award for Best Performance by a Featured Actress in a Play. Critics and Broadway actors criticized the award committee's decision to reward the work of mainstream actors. The film premiered at the 8th Rome International Film Festival. In 2013, Johansson voiced the character Samantha, a self-aware computer operating system. She was intimidated by the role's complexity and found her recording sessions challenging. Luke Besson's science fiction action film Chef 2014 grossed over $45 million. She starred as the title character who gains psychokinetic abilities when a nootropic drug is absorbed into her bloodstream. Both films earned more than $1.1 billion, ranking among the highest grossing of all time. In 2018, she reprised her role as Black Widow in Avengers Infinity War. She was due to star in a biographical film in which she would have played a transgender man. In 2019, she starred in Noah Baumbach's Netflix film Marriage Story. The film was the highest grossing of all time. The female movie star of 2021 won the 47th People's Choice Awards. She filed a lawsuit against Disney claiming the release violated a clause in her contract. The company said she already received $20 million for the film and the release would only earn her additional compensation. In September 2009, Johansson and Pete Yorn released a collaborative album, Breakup, inspired by Serge Gansbourg's duets with Bridget Bardot. The album reached number 41 in the United States. She sang One Whole Hour for the 2011 soundtrack of the documentary film Wretches and Jabberers. She was the highest grossing actor of 2016 with a total of $1.2 billion. As of September 2019, her films have grossed over $5.2 billion in North America and over $14.3 billion worldwide. The hacker was arrested, pleaded guilty, and sentenced to 10 years in prison. In 2014, she won a lawsuit against French publisher J.C. Lattes over libelous statements about her relationships in the novel The First Thing We Look At by Grégoire Delacourt.
she criticized the media for promoting an image that causes unhealthy diets and eating disorders. Among women, politics Johansson was registered as an independent, at least through 2008. She campaigned for Democratic candidate John Kerry in 2004. In 2012, she hosted a fashion launch of pro-Obama clothing, bags, and accessories.